it is so cold tonight and I'm wearing a short sleeved top so I'm gonna try and be really fast I had to stop and start this video a million times the lighting is a bit poor in here and everywhere else I don't have actually I do have lighting I'm lying from my videoing uh, days when we did documentaries and short films but I honestly can't be bothered finding it and positioning it strategically and all of that that's just too much for me I'm done with those days so this is gonna be a little bit more rough cut also every time I went to film there was noise going on something was dropping uh, some kind of plastic bags were rattling the phone rang so here I go again and hopefully this will be my final attempt to make this video just a quick message because I ended up getting very very so I'm just keeping an eye to see if I'm still in view or if I'm going off camera because I'm very good at doing that well uh, so something happened that really upset me and it didn't shine any new light on any newly discovered information or life philosophy for me it only increased my cynicism when it comes to humanity and friendships you see I've never really believed in friendships I've always believed that people are users they're there to take advantage of you to take something from you no one is ever nice to you unless they want something in other words they don't really care they just put on a front that they care just so they can take whatever it is that they want from you be it validation social status um, betterment help from an employment position material gain whether it is that you are a flexible and giving person and you're willing to endure a lot of bad treatment and to deal with somebody's unwell psyche and insecurities whether it is physical gains like sexual favors or whatever there are no such things as friendships i believe someone is always there to use you or because they are lonely and they have no one to go with them to a particular event and then they latch on to you if you're a person who's always available and open-hearted well so the other day about a week ago this guy I hadn't heard from in a long time texted me out of the blue which really surprised me and said hey how you doing uh, my birthday's coming up next week I'm gonna have a party I want you to come I replied oh thank you so much okay he said I will text you the details and the address closer to the date July the 7th and then that was it I never heard from him and I assume because of what's going on with the coronavirus outbreak again I don't know if this is a second round like experts were uh, fearing and foretelling or if it's just something that happened due to lack of care or some hole in the whole screening and lockdown process but I think today alone we had something like 280 eight new cases of coronavirus in victoria victoria is the one state at the moment that is in deep trouble so they're going in a six week lockdown again no one can come into the state and especially there will be no connection between regional rural victoria and the city of melbourne because they want to make sure they stop this thing from further spreading so i thought to myself yes we're not in victoria but maybe because of the coronavirus people are not freely going out and doing their thing restaurants have opened but you need to remain seated in your seat even bars the same thing goes they have opened but you have to remain seated at your table and drink there no dancing no music no djs this is in our state in victoria that's not happening at all everything is closed down again so I thought to myself, well, maybe this guy, because of the coronavirus, has decided to hold back with his celebration and maybe do it later. Anyway, long story short, I don't know how I came across it. I think it's through mutual friends or they were tagged. I, I really don't even know, but I noticed it on social media that there were uploads of videos and photos from this guy's party. And I thought, oh, he went ahead with it which I thought was really, really odd because you don't really invite someone then decide to uninvite them. And I thought that was really lacking in manners. It was really rude. Fair enough, this guy and I are not close. We are of different age groups. He's in his 20s. There is a big difference there on all sorts of levels, social, mental, 
whatever else. I saw the footage from his party. They were all young kids, 25 year olds. What do I have to share with 25 year olds? And not that I'm ageist, I've given the opportunity to people to date a broad spectrum of individuals from different age groups, ethnicities and whatever, but trust me, going out with a 20 something person is like you're going out with a schoolboy. Mentally, they're not very mature. The manners are not as refined as older guys. They don't really care. I don't know, but at least the ethnicities that I tried to go out with and they were from a particular part of the globe. It just left me very disappointed and it's not my cup of tea. But at the end of the day, there is a huge difference between 20-somethings and people who are older. Whether you're 30-something or even older than that, trust me, you have nothing in common. Which buzzes me out why older guys who are in the 50s, 60s, 70s want to hook up with girls who are 18 or 25 what could you possibly have to discuss or wouldn't you even feel horrible knowing that you're an old man with a girl who is so different she highlights your old age anyway i don't know but that's my take on it so i was very disappointed that this guy invited me and then uninvited me because quite frankly i would have preferred if he hadn't considered me to begin with and when I saw the people who were at his party who were kind of on the loser side, I thought, what? There's a girl who actually posts videos of herself wearing absolutely nothing on social media and the only thing covering her private parts is her hand in front of her. And that's it. And she opens her legs and she says, message me for $20 a photo that reveals everything and she's offering very cheap rates humiliations of herself she's got albums full of guys grabbing her boobs she's lying in bed with and she's not very dignified I don't want to say anything else because I don't like really hurting people's feelings but how this guy went to inviting somebody of that level to his party and he was comfortable with that and then uninviting me well <laughs> i don't know maybe it is the age thing that made him reconsidered and i'm all good with that but it just really highlighted how vain people are especially this dude who's trying to portray himself as popular out there edgy he ended up being an arrogant douche in the end just you know, the first time I had ever saw this guy, I thought to myself, this guy is so gross. He is so arrogant and full of himself. Ooh, that's exactly what I thought. But then when I got to talk to him, he was actually very nice to me. He seemed really warm. He would introduce me to people. And I thought, oh, he's actually really nice. But he was only doing it for show because he had something to gain from me then. I was single, I wasn't dating, he didn't know what I was all about and he was trying to introduce me to his friends as an available single female so that maybe that would have scored in points, you know, if he's got women who are available and willing to put out that's impressive to his friends. I don't know and maybe because he's a few years down the track and he realised I don't do that type of thing and maybe because I'm a little bit older now, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's just whatever, I don't care. He and he had actually told me some things as well that um, about my ex-boyfriend, which made me think, okay, if you were friends with him, then why are you saying this now? But anyway, he had give, my ex-boyfriend had given him lifts home and everything. And one thing that I've got to say about my ex is that despite our differences, he was a very generous and helpful individual who treated people quite well. So I don't think he deserved to be spoken about in that kind of way initially he was saying good things about him and then when he took um he was on a roll he just but you know it's just that i went over my friendships with people mentally as a result of that and i do that anyway and i reassessed everything and i thought people have in general been such assholes to me people who were claiming to be my friends and for example, I'm only going to share a couple of anecdotes with you because I realise there is no shifting in audiovisuals tonight and it's a little bit boring. 
but I remember in my 20s I hung around with this guy I'm gonna call him Jack here just for I don't want to like use his real name but anyway he and I were quite close we used to hang around all sorts of hours of the night we used to drink together whatever and he obviously he wanted to get it on but I didn't see him that way so we kind of kissed and stuff like that but I never could bring myself to sleep with him because I wasn't attracted to him at all I mean yeah I tried I tried to get into him but I couldn't and I didn't want to hurt his feelings so I didn't want to say you know I'm not really that into you and you don't really do it for me so I said look your father is the manager at the radio station I DJ and volunteer at because I didn't get paid there I used to volunteer there and he said oh no it doesn't matter so what I used that as an excuse I said no I respect my network I respect the people that I um associate with because we're ethnic people there would have been a lot of gossip happening anyway so i used that as an excuse to get out of it but he was obviously very salty and he had so much bitterness this is how he hurt me one day back then i used to have a really nice figure and one day i remember was wearing a suit with a short a-line skirt thick black opaque stockings and platform shoes I had my hair up in a beehive and I had dark hair then and uh, yeah I was walking down the street across the lights and this car tooted at me the guys were waving and saying things I used to get that kind of reaction a lot back then actually and this guy Jack turned around and said to me they probably thought you were a hooker first of all it was the middle of the day second of all I was wearing opaque stockings that covered my legs they were like leggings okay he had no right to say that but I remember when I discussed it with his dad because his dad believe it or not despite our age difference he was very open with his kids and we were all kind of friends and I said can you believe it that Jack said this to me that's so hurtful and instead of the dad saying oh I'm so sorry you know he was probably just being a dick or he was just joking around the dad actually stuck up for his son instead of actually thinking that I used to volunteer my time and giving them a fresh face because the radio station was full of old DJs and I was one of the very few young modern music kind of bringing fresh blood to the whole scene and drawing more um, audiences to ourselves instead of appreciating the hours I put into it he turned around and said oh it's just Timmy you know kind of thing so what he and I thought so what really anyway so that's that and in the most recent anecdote that I wanted to share with you guys was I had a friend who I remember used to be a bit funny when we used to go out she wanted to be the center of attention if I went off and danced with a guy a little bit and she wasn't part of it should get shitty should get bored should get annoyed you know she had to be the focus of the whole night most of the times and I used to oblige because after all she used to invite me out and I'm pretty respectful towards people as it is anyway I didn't mind it was just a lot of hard work because you had to constantly be working at it and make sure that for a moment you know you didn't dance too long with a guy I remember one time she had gone to the bathroom and there were three of us and a guy her and me and when she took a while I said to the guy I better go look for I'm not gonna use her real name I'm just gonna pull out just any name here just to be on the safe uh, side I'm sorry Carly let's say Carly I better go and look for Carly because um, you know she might get upset uh, and I did I went looking for her because I didn't know if she was gonna get angry and all of a sudden want to go home or whatever but you know one time I remember her being so mean to me because people used to think I was younger than what I looked and when I tell them my real age I preferred not to but when I would tell them they would be like what oh my gosh you know and because I had a very youthful outlook I like to dress younger than what people my age do I've always been left of center I've always been out there but anyway yeah she I remember one time she got so shitty with it that people thought I was young and she said it is gonna catch up with you and I thought what a mean-spirited thing to say it's like she's wishing for me to age and she can't wait for it that's what it sounded like I remember later on when this guy sent me um, 
friend requests on social media she demanded and ordered me that i deleted them because she was either interested in them or she had slept with them herself and i said to her so what i'm not interested in them romantically but i'm not going to start deleting people for no reason these guys haven't done anything wrong to me and when we used to go out she used to say you can't go after this guy you can't go after that guy you can't go after that guy because i've had a thing with them and i said what do you mean you've had a thing with them did you go out with them did you kiss them did you sleep with them no but i know they're interested in me or if there was a guy she had been with, again, you couldn't talk to him. She said, I don't want my friends to have anything to do with the guys I've dated or that I'm interested in. And she told me that she even ordered her other friend to delete guys whom she was interested in or had slept with. And I thought, you know what, this is all too much psycho for me. And just as the years went on and people I've met and women, there were similar scenarios that went down. And I thought to myself, I don't believe in friendship everyone is out to use you and once something positive happens to you like somebody passes a compliment to you or something like that they get shitty with you i've had women roll their eyes when guys pass compliments to me i just yeah and it's not just women it's the guys who i mean just as much if you don't give them what they want which is sex to bed you they will hold grudges against you so you know guys just look after yourself look after your loved ones your family your children your parents your pets look after the planet the environment animals but keep friends at bay because when the opportunity is there trust me your best friend that you call bff whatever will sell you out as a first given opportunity I know so because guys that my ex had helped out who, and who allegedly respected him, at least that's what they claimed at the beginning, they quickly sold him out just so they can have a chance to sleep with me. I will go into the story of this particular guy another night, but that's when one particular dude did anyway and my ex-boyfriend had, had helped him out financially a few times had given him lifts so given the right opportunity they will sell you out no matter what you do for them and how good a friend they claim to be they will even sleep with your boyfriend your husband I've seen it happen among friends I have I have and it's just shocked me I've seen women who judge females who hook up with married guys or with guys with boyfriends they themselves don't flinch and don't hesitate to sleep with someone else's husband or boyfriend. So just look after yourselves, each other, your loved ones. And don't believe in best friends. I know not all people are mean or evil or creeps. But this thing with best friends, I don't believe in it. And even friends, I don't believe in that word. Because at the end of the day, nobody really cares. Anyway, I've waffled and gone on and on and on. Take care of yourself, people. Thanks for listening to me. Those of you who made it this far, you guys are champions. Have a good weekend and stay safe, whatever is going on. And from all the horrible things humans generate out there. Guys, because you've been such good sports and if you've made it this far, you deserve something to distract you visually. I'm going to share a bag that I bought recently with you because I think it's pretty awesome and it looks really nice. And the designer is an Australian lady who apparently loves animals. So I found it on special. Let me just go get it and I'll share it with you. The lady who designed it is Leona Edmiston. And um, it's got beautiful polka dots on the inside. This bag has got two handles. It's got this one and that one. And you can wear it crossbody in a very nice way, not um, like other ones that are very short. And it's got a back pocket as well. But anyway, I don't know. It doesn't do it justice, the lighting in here. But I think it's a very pretty bag. It used to be $90 and I got it. It went half that on, on special and then half that still. So that was an actual steel i love the buckle at the front i think it's a beautiful kind of blush color it really honestly the lighting is washing it out in here and you can wear it with pretty much anything i've been enjoying it i get very excited with new things and i get bored with them really really fast but yeah i, I will 
you know, I'll use something once or twice and then I get bored of it, but I'll try to be decent with this one. Okay, you guys, I also want to share something else that I bought the other day, which was makeup. Sorry, I'm just trying to open it with my hand, my one hand. This makeup palette. I wanted to film it before I got stuck into it, but what I shot was a little bit not nice at all. Anyway, I wanted to show you this. This is by a brand called Australis, which is a cruelty-free product. And I wanted to make it known worldwide. You see the cruelty-free bunny there? It means they don't test on animals. So I wanted to ask everybody to give Australis a go. So I'm just trying to open the palette again so you can see the colours. And I also bought another eyeshadow eyeshadow sorry palette uh, some months ago which has slightly different shades in there uh, they haven't been irritating my eyes they are a product that's free of talc and a lot of companies do use talc which is a carcinogenic and not very good for you so please guys give this brand a go if you can shop over the internet or if you come across this brand and you're not sure because you're from overseas, I'm giving it the thumbs up. I've always been happy with it. I used to use it when I was in my 20s. And yeah, as other um, brands popped up, you know, this one kind of dived in sales a little bit. But it's still around. It's always been a great product. Please back it. Please support it. Another brand that has gone cruelty free is CoverGirl. There are many, uh, or at least they claimed and they announced that they would. So, yeah, please do your homework and look up. There are many great products on the market out there. That's just a poster I had done for one of the rallies that I went to on climate change. And I've just put it up today. Sorry, you guys, I'm not a good painter or an artist. I will share some of the stuff I have tried with you over time because I don't know why I turned vertically. I forgot that vertically doesn't really work for video. But yeah, I will share my stuff with you over time. It's not the greatest, but, you know, please be supportive because I never did art in school and I want to learn how to paint. I want to learn how to draw and I don't have much experience. I've only done sporadic attempts of sketches and things and I don't have any idea about dividing into appropriate proportions. I don't follow grids. I don't know anything about shading or any theory. So I'm pretty hopeless but actually you know what? Sorry you probably can hear the uh, heater in the background. While we're at it I'm going to show you one of my very first paintings that I did it's not very good I know I know but um, I wanted to attempt unrealistic colors like distorted colors rather than uh, portrayals of the real thing this one I followed a tutorial to do to attempt I've never really done many tutorials but I watched one or two because I'm not very good with my attention span but yeah so you guys thank you so much for watching I know it was a super boring video and I feel and look very slow and down but this whole mess with this guy and the party did get me down see you next time